Hey guys, so a classmate asked, if 45 grams of KCl are dissolved in 100 grams of water at 20 degrees Celsius, what type of solution does it form? So this question refers back to solubility and our solubility graphs. But before we get into what type of solution KCl creates, let's first understand how KCl can even be a solution in water. We know that water is a polar molecule in that it has a partial positive and partial negative end due to its hydrogens and oxygens respectively. Since opposites attract, the oxygens from the water molecules get pulled towards the potassium, which has a positive charge, while the hydrogens are attracted towards chloride's negative charge. Therefore, once our 45 grams of KCl are put into the 100 grams of water, the ionic bonds between the two elements is split apart into separate ions, with each respective part of the water molecule surrounding and dissolving our ions. But what type of solution does this form? Well, there are three types of solutions that we can choose from. Saturated, unsaturated, and supersaturated. A saturated solution describes a solution that has the maximum amount of solute dissolved in that it cannot dissolve any more solutes. You can think of a saturated solution as being a soaking wet paper towel. The paper towel can no longer absorb any more water and therefore it is saturated with water. An unsaturated solution describes the solution that has a less than the maximum amount of solute dissolved in that it can still dissolve more substances. Back to our paper towel example, if you have a paper towel that is dry, it is completely unsaturated, meaning that you can still absorb some more water, and that you have not reached your maximum capacity for absorbing water. A supersaturated solution describes a solution that has dissolved more than the maximum amount of solute that it should be able to dissolve. In essence, a supersaturated solution would be having the ability for a soaking wet paper towel, one that has reached its maximum capacity of absorbing water, to still be able to mop up more water. To determine what kind of solution we have, we can use a solubility curve for KCl. A solubility curve helps plot the relationship between temperature and solubility of a particular solute. A line on the curve represents a saturated solution with the x-axis representing the temperature of the solution and the y-axis representing the solubility in terms of the mass of the solute per 100 grams of water. Anything above the saturated line is said to be supersaturated, while any point below is unsaturated. If we are looking at the solubility curve for KCl, we see that at 20 degrees Celsius, the solution is expected to be saturated close to 30 grams. However, in the question given, we have 45 grams worth of KCl, which is graphed as a point above the curve for the saturated solution, making this supersaturated. This makes sense because we are over our maximum capacity of solute, which is supposed to be close to 30 grams. I hope this video helped you to understand more about the different types of solutions and how to identify them from a solubility curve.